Finally, Foundry VTT is making it easier for you to move from one major version to the next. Foundry announced that there will be two major features coming in Foundry VTT version 11.5 that will help with this, so let me take you through what those features are. Oh, and stick around till the end of the video because Foundry also gave us a glimpse of potential new features for Foundry VTT version 12. Hi there, my name is Fondu, your VTT wizard, and I have over 300 hours in Foundry VTT. On this channel called Dice and Easy, I give you VTT tutorials and daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, hit the subscribe button down there. Normally Foundry's development has gone in major versions where they release a major numbered version of the software, some patches to the new version to fix bugs, and then they move on to the next major version. For example, they released version 10, some patches to version 10, and then moved on to making version 11, the latest major version. Now, however, Foundry has announced in a recent blog post that they are making a slight change to this process. They are going to be releasing Foundry version 11.5 next to make the process of going from one major version to the next smoother and safer. This is an intermediate version between version 11 and version 12. Let's go over the two new features that will make switching versions better. The first feature is a compatibility checker. This feature will allow users to know what the compatibility of their modules and game systems are with the new version that they want to upgrade to before downloading the update. So in version 11.5, when you want to update to version 12, there will be a utility that examines your game systems and modules and provides you with a list of their compatibility status with version 12. This list will differentiate the following statuses. Already compatible with the new version, not compatible but with a compatible upgrade available, and not compatible without any compatible upgrade available. It's important to note that this feature will not be backported, meaning that it will only work with version 11.5 and later major versions. This feature should provide you with more transparency and awareness when you decide if updating major versions is the right call for you. The second feature is built-in backups for Foundry VTT. Whenever you're updating to a new major version of Foundry, the most important piece of advice is to back up all your world data to make sure you don't lose anything in the update process in case you need to downgrade back to the previous version. However, without an easy to use tool, Foundry said that they have noticed that users can easily skip this vital step. To make sure that users don't skip this step, with version 11.5, you'll be able to capture backups and restore data from backups. You'll be able to back up your worlds either individually or in bulk and take a snapshot of all your packages before you perform a major version update. And it's important to note that these backups will be stored in a separate data location. The tool will also allow you to see your available backups and restore them or to roll back your entire installation. With both of these new features in version 11.5, updating to a new major version should be safer and more transparent than ever before. Okay, okay, uh, updating easier, all that fun stuff. What about version 12 of Foundry VTT? It will come after 11.5 and Foundry is giving us a peak at the potential features because they have opened their version 12 feature vote. If you're not familiar with this, for every major version of Foundry VTT, Foundry gives their patrons a chance to vote on one of the new features from a list of potential features. Then Foundry takes the one that got the most votes and implements that feature. Here is the list of version 12 features that patrons can vote on. 1. Advanced measured templates, an expansion to the existing measured template system and adding new features like template animation support, improved customization for template shapes and the ability to link templates to a token. 2. Dynamic soundscapes. Provide tooling to configure a dynamic audio soundscape using a collection of input audio files, smoothly transitioning between them in ways that mask the common repetition of looping audio files. Environmental animation effects. This could provide the ability for GMs to define a custom visual effect in a certain region without relying specifically on lighting. These effects could have custom defined areas but would not generate illumination or contribute towards fog of war exploration. Event triggers. 
a new system which provides the possibility for defining scripted events that occur dynamically when tokens interact with a certain area of a scene. If you've ever wanted to have a pressure plate trap trigger a boulder showing up at the end of the hallway, this is the feature for you. Oh, that was uh, three and four. Five, improved fog of war. Expand upon the existing fog of war system to add improved tools for game masters and better user experience for players. Six, placeable items. Allow items to be placed directly into a scene, unlocking the ability for players to find and acquire treasure or plot advancing items by interacting directly with the game canvas. Seven, scene types and transitions. Provide a scene configuration which formalizes the concept of scene types, offering support for battle map, region map, and vignette scenes. And number eight, terrain and cover. Allow for the definition and configuration of areas within the scene that can be interpreted as different types of terrain, making certain regions count as more grid units for the purposes of movement. If you want to read about these potential new features in more detail, check out the link to the blog post in the description. Again, Foundry VTT patrons get to vote on the above list and one feature will be chosen for version 12's development. I personally would really like to see either dynamic soundscapes or event triggers to be the feature that gets implemented. So now with version 11.5 onwards, we will have a better and safer time upgrading between major versions of Foundry VTT and version 12 is also looking to get some very interesting additions in the future. How do you feel about this new approach that Foundry is taking and which features would you like to see in version 12? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there, I would kindly ask for a like and subscribe. They seem like small things, but they really help me out and this channel a lot. In addition to making videos, I also stream on twitch.tv slash dice and easy every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern European time, which is 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern. Come talk VTTs and TTRPGs with me live. The link to that is also down there in the description. And on the screen right now, you're going to see another video of mine where I show you how to create special effects like weather for your Foundry VTT maps with a module called FX Master. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.